Good day. Welcome to a smoking smoke showing with Jay. Uh, last week we made some bacon, or the last video depends on when you see them. Could be years from now. Um, but today I'm going to do something special. This is one of my favorite things. We discovered this by accident. I'm guessing other people are doing it. I'm really not sure. But we're going to do what's called double smoked bacon. Well, that's what I call it. So I have my bacon that I made in our one of our last videos. I'm going to take it out. And we're going to slice it up. Uh, one of the things you want to do when you're slicing your bacon is make sure that it is nice and cold. Uh, your bacon slice is so much better when it's cold. You don't have to work at it. So I have my big Victoria Knox knife from Amazon. Works great. Super sharp, so be careful. So we're just going to slice our bacon up. I like my bacon really thick. So as I call them sometimes when I get really carried away, I call them bacon steaks. cut these up. You can see how easy it cuts when your bacon is cold. When your bacon is warm, it allows the meat to really flex around. Um, just makes it a lot more challenging to cut. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera, but I don't want to cut my finger off or slice it up, one of the two. Because I don't think blood and bacon would be taste that good. I've never tried it, but I'm gonna say no. Especially if it's my blood from my finger. Oh, sorry about that. I have a brisket on and it's just telling me that it's done. So. Anytime I smoke, I like to smoke a couple things. Especially when I'm smoking with charcoal, which I'll be smoking today with. Um, the charcoal's all set. And it's already been smoking. I've had the brisket on for a few hours. That's another video. So. All right. So we have our bacon all cut up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it out into strips because I'm going to throw some seasoning on it. You don't have to throw any seasoning on this if you don't want to. I just think it adds a little extra flavor because um, I don't use a whole lot of sweeteners or anything like that. When I make my bacon, as you saw, I only used a little bit of brown sugar and a little bit of maple syrup. So adding these little bit of flavoring on top just helps bring out even a more immense flavor in the bacon. So I only season one side as well because I don't want it overwhelmed. Um, so today I'm going to use Smokehouse Maple, which I'm almost out of, so I'm probably not going to make it all the way through. If I don't get it covered, then I will use some sweet and smoky. Um, Smokehouse Maple is one of my favorites. I also have another one called Maple Bourbon that I use. It's amazing as well, but I ran out of it. So I'm just going to put a gentle coating on this, on your bacon. You don't need a whole lot. Oh, I can smell the maple in here. It smells amazing. But if you're not a maple fan, then I would recommend something like the Sweet and Smoky. All right, so now that we have these all seasoned, and I'm out perfect. Worked out to be just enough, so we're good. So I'll have to add that to my grocery list. Um, actually, I usually buy this at Sam's Club. Uh, they just haven't had it for a while, but you can usually get a really big container there for like five bucks. Way cheaper than three fifty four dollars at your local grocery store. All right, so we're ready. We're gonna take it out and put it on the smoker. All right, so we're ready to get our bacon on the smoker. Um, our smoker is ready because I smoked a brisket earlier. Um, I've added some maple wood because I want that little bit of sweet flavor. So we're gonna take our lid off. You can see we're getting some really good smoke. Now all you do is take your bacon strips and put them on. I put the seasoning up when I put it on because I feel that just allows it to absorb in. Anytime you flip them over, you lose half your seasoning because it just falls off. So I'm going to put these all on. And these are going to smoke for about an hour to an hour and a half. And I will generally flip them once during the smoke. Oh, 
Oh, losing my maple wood is starting on fire. But that's because I have the lid off. As soon as I get the lid back on, it'll go out. So we have our bacon on, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Video. All right, so we've been smoking for probably 15 minutes. Uh, we are running really hot today, and the bacon is basically half cooked. So we're going to flip it over. I'm actually going to reposition some of it. These are the edge pieces. They're not burnt. That's just what they look like. So, but you can see we're getting some nice color, some nice lines on here. But I am going to move some of these around. These ones are a little bit closer and they're getting crisped up real quick. So we're going to move them far away from the heat as we can. And we're going to move some of these other ones that aren't quite getting there. This was a really thin piece, so you can see that it's cooked almost all the way through already. So. The risk of smoking, that's part of the game, is you have to watch your smoke. You have to watch what you're smoking, especially things like meat this thin, because it doesn't take long for it to get cooked up. So, all right, I'll see you guys in a few more minutes. So I just pulled these three pieces off. They were the very thin pieces um, of bacon. So I pulled them off a little early because they were starting to char up a little too much. Um, I do like charred bacon, but this one is definitely way too charred. Uh, they've been on for 45 minutes. The other pieces will be coming off shortly. Um, I'll see you then. So we're at an hour. We're gonna check this out. Oh yeah, everything's cooked. The bacon looks amazing. So we'll be pulling that bacon off. Some of the ends are actually getting a little too crispy, but, oh yeah, look at that. Sorry about that. Went the wrong way with the camera. That looks really good. So I like my bacon crispy, but those ends are a little crisp. That piece looks good. Oh yeah. It's looking mighty fine. There's our bacon. I just got to put the lid back on. Let's take her in. So here's our fresh double smoked bacon. I don't have the greatest camera, so I apologize. Try and get a little bit better light on it. I'm just using my phone. Eventually one day I'll have a real camera, but Till then, I have to use my phone. So I'm gonna slice it open. You can see how juicy it is, I hope. See all the nice glistening juice. Mm -mm -mm. So I generally don't do this and eat things on camera because every person I've seen on YouTube says everything they make is the best. But this should probably be one of the most amazing things you will ever try. So it's really hot, but I'm still going to give it a shot. Mm. Nice and tender on the inside. Nice and crunchy on the outside. Mm. That's good. Like I said, you won't see me doing that very often. Or hear me doing that very often. Because every person that I've ever seen on YouTube says everything they make is the best. And you know what? In reality... There's going to be times where you screw up and you wreck things and they just don't taste good. So um, that's it for today. Thank you all. Thanks for watching Smoke Showing with Jay. Peace, love, and barbecue.